Hello all. Um, next month is World Watercolor Month. So this is a sneak peek into what's happening with my planning as far as World Watercolor Month goes. It's uh, the challenge that I fin did and finished last year that didn't feel at all like a challenge. I had these handmade books, if you were, if you were around, you remember, um, th that I made. And it was the very first um, handmade watercolor journals that I made for myself to practice making books. And I thought, well, they're not the best, but I do love them, so I'll use them. And then I made a little cover to go on top of each one. And we did World Watercolor Month last year. Um, and it is, I did all the prompts through the whole, through the whole thing. So I have two finished um, books for last year. This year I was thinking, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to kick it up a notch. I'm going to get out my brand new sheets. I have three sheets. Um, one sheet is reserved for my dragon um, year of the dragon piece because it is the year of the dragon according to the Chinese calendar. Um, so I have a beautiful piece of Arches watercolor paper saved for that. And then I took the other two pieces and cut them up into bite-sized pieces. As you can see, I went ahead and put a little bit of reinforcement tape on the edge. Uh, this is book binding tape because I'm going to um, individually sew each page into the book that I'm making. And I'm making my very own World Watercolor Month book and there is a I'm gonna work on the front and back of each page so I think I think I have the right amount of pages one just let's count let's try again <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoopsie, eight, nine, come here, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen pages. So sixteen times two is thirty two. There's thirty one days in the month there are 31 prompts so that gives me one extra um page not to do anything on i think i'm going to go ahead and um dive right in with day one on the first page and we'll, we'll see i might leave a, a page for flubs um i did have two flubs last year in the in the books um so so far i've done that and it is um arches 140 pound cold press watercolor paper that I bought specifically to do my dragon piece um, but there were three sheets in the thing and I got it the three sheets were 40% off plus I had a $10 um, gift voucher so I ended up paying 20 bucks for the three sheets which is super cheap so this is you can actually work on the front and back of Arches paper so I believe so that's why I chose that. These are, I printed this today, just now, so that I could have it to tuck in the book. And I'm um, gonna go down the list. I'm gonna create at my leisure, uh, but I don't wanna set that on there. I don't set anything on my watercolor paper. <coughs> so these are the covers. Start out just, just with the plain purple. Looks like, this is, don't come here. All right, so these are all the scraps. Might as well have just left them out um, from cutting up the the purple section. It's just watercolor paper or drawing paper that I glued tissue paper onto and then put color on top of to try to make my own kind of crinkly texture paper. And I love how it turned out. I'm wishing I hadn't used purple, but. Um, that's, you know, what it is. This is the scrap of the interior. I figure I'll use these scraps to make some longer um, fun journals and the other scraps I'll use to make bookmarks. Currently, I don't want these to be purple. The purple's really throwing me off. But 
this is the, what the interior looks like, which is actually very pretty. I just did these today. I took an extra piece of um, my scrap 140 pound watercolor paper that I had floating around that I did did stuff on that I didn't like, and I went ahead and used it as the the middle for this sheet and this sheet, so it's supported. So I'm about this. It's about the density, a little bit denser than a, a cereal box, but I don't like this. So I'm taking my ink and I'm mucking, I'm mucking about with my distress inks and um, seeing if I can make this a little less um, purple. I don't mind the purple. I just don't want it to be like that to be the main color. Um, and then I'm going to sew it all together, I want, depending on when I get done with this. I was thinking about using these to sew it all together. Different colored, pretty purple pinks. Uh, but the purple is really just not doing it for me. So I figured to try. Probably be easier to just flip it over. And yeah, this is... Um, vintage photo. So I just want to make this less purpley, I think, is, is the overall goal. Um, go ahead and darken that edge right there. But yeah, so this is kind of turning out a little cool. I'm liking that muted purple black color, right? So, at any rate, um, this isn't the one I just had. Vintage photo it is. This one is vintage, or walnut stain. And that one's antique linen. With these longer nails, I have a hard time getting, getting the covers off. This is the walnut stain. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Ooh, that's kind of nice on top of there. Drag it around. Sponge it in some places. Up close. It looks very different up close. Um, kind of a mess, but I'm really digging the textures and the different... The different... Um, different looks. Kind of look, it's starting to look a little pleathery, right? I feel like I don't want to cover up all of the purple, but I do want to cover up more of it. I don't think this is, this is alcohol based, right? I wonder. I wonder. If it's I don't want to get this too wet because it took forever to dry last time. Maybe we'll just get it in a couple of spots here. So have to spray a varnish or like a clear coat over the top of this because look how much that moved. Here I'll show you up close. It definitely makes it look more leather like right? So let's do a little I wonder I'm wondering again if maybe dampening one of these sponge things that I have back here and using that to oops to kind of wiggle and pounce around would be a better idea like that oh yeah All right yeah I'm gonna definitely have to take this out tomorrow and spray a little varnish on it oh look at how Look how neat that corner is now. Oh yeah, I'm totally digging this. Alright. I 
and that is um, ink underneath so it is not picking up the purple which is great And I don't want to obliterate all of the purple, but that is giving a nice um, little coat of brown, isn't it? Looks more like leather now, like an old, like worn leather book. Kind of digging that vibe. too much water. We'll definitely spread that around. I don't have anywhere near as much ink oh, on this one as I did do on the other ones. This again is that walnut color. Kind of worked up that tissue paper a little bit more. That's okay. I'm not minding it. Just set it in front of the heater on the floor. It should dry pretty nicely. Okay. Yeah, I'm digging this. This is fun. Um, I honestly didn't think that bookmaking would be as much fun as it is. It's kind of a blast. Um, you guys saw um, my Grabby Box unboxing. The first 30 minutes is unboxing, and the rest of it is making that little book that's in the photo on the, um, on the thumbnail. The, uh, the glue in there is getting too wet. That's okay. I'm really digging this. Faux leather kind of feel. I am liking it. It's a, definitely a far cry from the purple, which I'll show you up against this in a second here. Look how this is drying. <gasps> I'm digging it. Yeah, with that little glints of purple showing through. Fun, fun. Oh, yeah. Anybody else really liking these? This one's getting more, more on the dry. It does need to dry, like, completely through. Look at that. It's the skin of my enemies. <laughs> um, like a pelt of a mythical creature or something crazy right why not i know i'm weird it's all right it's all right nobody panic um this, this is the only one i have out all right i thought i had another one out i'm losing my mind oh does anyone like my nails i just did them the other day before they get demolished the blue ones were super pretty, but they were distracting. My daughter picked this this set. She likes the more muted colors. <coughs> I was going to let Astrid pick, but she was busy having a fit, so she lost the right. This is glittery. It's supposed to be a glittery um, gold. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Even more so, pellets of a mythical creature. We'll put it on here and there. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I'm doing that. Okay. And she had too much fun creating the, the skin of a mythical creature. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's all right. 
probably going to hell anyways. It's fine. It's fine. All right. That looks cool. I might have to do a little more of that. And then when I put the, I wonder when I put the clear coat on if it will, um, cause it's this on this side, right? And then it's that pretty, pretty, pretty on the other side as a dark and crazy on this side. Wing of a, of a dragon or something, I don't know. Not that I would purposely want to ever kill a dragon. This is fun. This one's still pretty damp. Are we doing it anyways? We sure are. Look at that. Yeah, I'll have to wait for that one to dry a little bit. I lost. Oh, it's clear. <laughs> All right, this is fun. All right, so <coughs> given the colors of this now and how cool it looks, I'm thinking instead of using this, we might head out a roll of this. This is my bookmaking kit. Did I put it back? I did not. I think I have out the white somewhere floating around over here. Yeah, there you are. Definitely don't want to use that. But how about this purpley, like, this purpley, like, brown color? Oh, that's perfect. That's amazing. But then this is going to show on each one of these pages. Other option. I'm overthinking this a lot. Is to do browns and golds. Ooh, that that might be even more fun visually for the book. So we'll use the threads still, but instead of pinks and purples, which will actually bring out a lot of the pink and the purple in the book, we'll use. And no, I'm not putting these back right, which will actually make me crazy later. Let's, let's not get too carried away with myself here. Now, I am not getting back into plastic canvas or anything like that, but I am enjoying, um, maybe that burgundy and that color. Oh, do we want to go? No, we're going to stay muted. We're gonna stay muted. That's I know this is taking way longer than it probably should, but but I'm having fun, so um yeah. So yeah. Why not? Alright, what do I have going on over here? I don't have this dark brown, so we'll go I'm doing three on each side, so I only technically need three colors. So I think Mid, is this, that one's kind of poopy color, I don't care for that. And that one can go back in. So those, those three, oopsie. And that's a repeat color. Uh, that's not very much fun. Okay. I'm pretty sure I have enough of each color. So that's that color T to do the whole book. That's that color, and these are that's that color. Okay. And if I don't, I'll just substitute another color. So fun. All right. So I'm gonna single. I'm I'm gonna put this together, and I'm gonna single sew three and three each page is getting sewn in by itself. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm hoping it turns out nice. I'm hoping I love the look of it when I'm done. Um, for now, I'm going to stop talking. Now that you can kind of see what's going on with the new um, World Watercolor Month uh, plan of action, 
that I'm going to get rolling on in the next several days. I'm very excited. I'm super happy with how this is turning out. I do. Hello guys, we are back to the vlog. This is where we're at with the covers. Uh, I put a clear coat on them and they are very purple, gold, just cool. I really like how they turned out. Um, went ahead and poked the holes in all the covers and all the pages. Um, let's see, uh, the front. This is going to be the front, the other one's going to be the back. Um, <coughs> so, went ahead and um, taped the edges with the tape. I don't know if I said that already. And then punched the holes, lined them all up, punched in the holes so that we can go page by page and put the book together. I am going to be using these colors. I'm going to be going. Uh, this one, this one, and then this one. So it'll be, it'll look like, and maybe we'll top, we'll stay with that pattern. That'll look nice. Yeah, I'm digging it. So I'm going to sew it together off camera because it's a stitch I've never done before. And it's a page at a time. I might, um, swing in and show you guys how it's done. But I'm learning it, so we'll see how this book turns out. So we went from from this purple to this. What do you like better? I mean, this was killing me, so I love this. I love how it turned out. Um, these are going to be turned into um, <coughs> small journals. I don't feel like I need a bookmark for this. Although what would be cool would be a purple ribbon up here to mark the page I'm on. So maybe I'll think about that. Or white. We'll see. We'll see. I'll experiment with that. All right. At any rate, that's the plan. So I'm going to get, um, I'll be working with this curved needle right here. And I need a pair of scissors. I think that's it. We'll see how long this takes. I'll go ahead and time it too. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi guys, I just wanted to swing through and um, touch base about the book. It's all put together. It's all put together. I have to make the little tag that I want to dangle off the side right here. I'm going to hook it on. I might put a a little eyelet right there but other than that it's done it's completely finished I this is what the the stitched edge looks like does that look nice I love how it turned out so much and then here's my front cover and my back cover and I can tell it's the back because the way I punch the holes um, these holes are a little messier than the holes on this side. Um, so we flip it open and the pages lay completely flat and each one has little edge so I'll be I'll be working in you know the middle of the page never minding the binding that way if I want to cut out the page at some point um, I can Probably won't, but I, will, I would like to be able to scan and um, uh, use the entire book throughout the entire month. Look at that. It lays perfectly flat. I love this binding. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I do want to get, I think it would be really pretty with decorative tape, like decorative binding tape or fabric on each page and beautiful stitch work. Um, and I love that the, I purposely made it so that the, I had the maximum amount of paper to work on. I didn't want to get rid of any of my deckled edges. I love that look. Um, this is the interior of the back. And I did make it purposely so that it hangs out the bottom edge and a little bit off the edges here. I wanted it to look that way. That was a purposeful 
um, look that I wanted. So let me know what you think in the comments um, about this little project and how it went. I'm super happy with it. I'm going to take a little scrap of this and make my um, my little actually I think I'll use this one and make my little um, 20 24 watercolor um, World Watercolor Month card. I'll put 2024 here, World Watercolor Month there. I might just do it on. Hi guys, here is the finished books for last year. Um, I made them separately from each other, not knowing what I was going to do with them. <coughs> and I ended up using two for World Watercolor Month last year. Different sizes, obviously, which was fun. But this year I thought I would do a full book, and this is what it looks like all made and finished. Here's my little tag to hang off when it's on the bookshelf like this. It's on the, I can just look at the tag that's hanging off the spine to see what it was later when I forget what this book was used for. Um, World Watercolor Month 7 2024 and I put a little magnet here and here so that just snaps shut and I put a little hook on there with cute little decorative beads and then I put some put some little decorative elements on the front and back on the corners and this is the book done this is it finished I also did a pocket right here I'm gonna zoom out I also put a pocket right here because there was some debris on this cover so I just folded a piece of uh, this paper and made a little pocket which I'm gonna have to glue down this double stick tapes not quite holding it to hold my my little list um, and anything else that I need to put in here throughout and then the stitching and it lays flat all the way through the book which is fantastic and I'm gonna be working on both sides of the paper this is arches 140 pound cold press paper and I purposely left this long because I like the, that deckled edge hanging out right there and it's wobbly like but I like that and I love how the covers turned out with that little metallic flare on them on the front and back yeah I dig this so much I'm very happy with how it turned out and next steps are to start start working on the watercolor videos for the year so yeah that's the next steps All right, I will see you guys in a bit